Moscone's descriptions of ornaments in religious polyphony shows that singers often did not arrive at the written note on the appropriate beat. But the tactor's beat continues without any perturbation. It's like Ella Fitzgerald. She knows where the beat is, she just chooses to sing around it, and the beat itself never falters. Having played plenty of court balli and danced every night themselves, the violin band would snap right into the groove of Lasciati Mondi, just as rock fans today know exactly how we will rock you. Jazz musicians have a useful language of making a regular, stable groove feel up-tempo or laid-back. The early 17th century tempo-modifying words are allegro and adagio. In dramatic monody, the basal continuo regulates the singers just as the tactus beater does in church and chamber music. As in polyphony, the syllabic stresses may align with the tactus, but sometimes do not. This is an expressive resource for the composer, which is lost in performance if there is no feeling for tactus. In monody, the Ella Fitzgerald rule applies again. The continuo maintain regular tactus at the level of minims and semibreves. Monteverdi shows how the singer may be stylishly off the beat whilst the bass continues without any perturbation. Everyone stays cool, spreads a dura, because tactus is fearless. Caccini and many others show ornaments going from slow to fast, with no hesitation at the end. So instead of da do dee do dee do dee do where's the last note going to be? Oof! With a resounding thump on the unaccented last syllable, we have ta do dee do 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 And if the singer arrives late, let it be.